Hello again everyone, this is Zombie Kids Rule and um, I decided I was going to do a follow-up video from my last um, video where I, I at the very end of the video I, I did a caution or a warning about a race event use, about how to use a race event and how I had to re-record a video on day night uh, because I had originally used a race event and, and it didn't do what I originally thought it did and so I had I did it a different way and I, so I decided I'd make a separate video on that just in case, you know, people don't want to watch that uh, that other day night video or, you know, don't want to load it up and then go to the end or, you know, scroll through it to find out where we where I talk about it. So I'm going to do a video just on what I did at the end of that last video for the, the I guess, the caution or the warning about using uh, a, a a race event, right? So the way I did that was um, I, I made a new um a new event and I set it to parallel because I, I, I we just want to show what a race event does and I did a wait command of 60 sec uh, sorry 600 seconds so it's about it's a um, 600 frames so it's about 10 seconds and then we did a show text of you have uh, waited 10 seconds okay or or how about how about 10 seconds have passed and it's it's going that that message will pop up and then we're going to erase the event so um, so in theory when this map loads right so as soon as I start the play test this event will run in parallel so it's going to start running immediately it's going to wait 10 seconds 60 frames 10 seconds a message will pop up on the screen that says 10 seconds have passed and then the event is going to erase, so it's going to be gone, it's not going to do anything else, and uh, we'll wait 10 more seconds and see that it doesn't repeat itself, it doesn't, uh, it does, the message doesn't pop up again. Um, but what we will see is that when we leave the map uh, and come back, that event will be back again, and it'll be working, and it'll be doing what it was doing before. And you may not want that to happen because if you want to erase the event, you may not you may not want it to repeat if you travel back to this map. Sometimes you do. Sometimes legitimately you might want a, an event to do what it was doing every time the player enters that map. Uh, every time they go someplace, maybe you want that event to run. In which case, cool. It runs. It does what it does. Then it erases itself until you leave and come back. But if you don't want that to happen, and and you just don't know it does, it it, it could lead to some very, um, you know, unintended consequences. So, we're gonna go here, and I'm just gonna demonstrate this. Um, like I said in the last video, I am a huge fan of um, of very quick and simple tests to make sure that things do what you think they do. So I have a day night system running every 10 seconds. So there's 10 seconds. Um, we're going to wait here for another 10 seconds and the tint the screen will change again it'll go to evening and if the if the screen tints yep which it did no message that means that that event is not running anymore so i'm going to move from my random transfer come back and now we're going to hang out here for 10 seconds and that message should come back that text message should come back and it'll it'll basically say hey 10 more seconds have passed and there it is so that means the event has um, repeated itself right we leave again and we come up here in 10 more seconds that message will pop up and so by using a race event it's it's only erasing it for the time that you're on the map there it is again and then um, you know, if we if we wait 10 more seconds, the message won't come back. So that's the functionality of a race event. And from what I saw, I did I did search for um, I did search for information on this after I made that video, and I saw that a lot of people end up using a race event the wrong way. Uh, they think they know what it does, and then they they use it, and then they're surprised when the event you know, repeats itself when you return to the map. So like I, the solution I showed in the last, um, in the, in the previous video was we'll just get rid of this erase event. And instead we're going to activate self switch a, and then we'll just do a new page 
with self switch A as the condition, we'll make sure that it is not parallel, right? So it's not a parallel process. There's no contents, it's not doing anything. If, if it's a parallel, it's just gonna do nothing, but it's gonna keep trying to do nothing over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so we don't want that to happen. So the original event is parallel, it, it waits its 10 seconds, it shows a message, and if you don't, if you stay on the map, every 10 seconds it'll pop up uh, until we turn on self-switch. Well, in this instance, we turn on self-switch A immediately, so it only shows it once, and then it moves to this page. And now this page, nothing. There's, there's no running. It's Nothing's running. It's going to be like that. And if we leave the map, it will not return. The event will not turn back on. And like I said, I did a quick test of this just to make sure. So we'll hang out here, let the message appear for 10 seconds. And as soon as it appears, there we go. Now we're going to leave the map and we're going to come back and we're going to hang out for 10 seconds. And um, that message will not reappear. So when the screen tints, uh, because it's changing from um, it's changing from afternoon to evening. There we go. The message didn't return. So that uh, that uh, event on the map did not reset itself. Okay. So uh, anyway, um, you know, if you saw this in the last video, uh, you know, and it helped you, great. Uh, I just thought I would make a, another standalone event. Uh, kind of erase event how it works video in case other people didn't want to watch it or they just didn't notice it or they're searching specifically for that uh, and they're looking for information and they find this video uh, so really quick really simple hope that helps uh, if you found me uh, you know and and these are helpful for you like subscribe uh, get notifications uh, and uh, leave comments if it's helpful I, I like to hear that uh, that things are helpful for you anyway thanks folks uh, happy gaming happy game developing developing and uh, I will be posting some other videos about these uh, simple quick um, things that you can do uh, individually before I do some longer videos again all right thanks folks have a nice night